So, are you really bored of your place and you don't have any money you want to spend? A really easy way to redecorate your place is to rearrange the furniture and to make everything look fresh and new. So we're going to start by moving this couch to the other side of the room where the dining room is. And we're going to make it a little bit more summery since it's spring. We want to make it more lighter. So we'll start by taking off the brown sheet we have on here. Since uh, I have three cats and a dog, it helps protect the couch, but maybe we'll put on a different color sheet or just go uh, natural. Oh, and I know, maybe I'm going to go back in my pashmina closet and see if I can find something springy to throw in the couch. Okay, this is what you need. Try and have a friend or two to help you move furniture. Map out as much as possible beforehand. Color code post-it notes where things go. Have your cleaning supplies ready, your hammers, your nails, your boxes for donation, and if you're doing a lot of drilling, you might even want to hire a handyman. Okay, a really good thing to do too to help make things go easier because you probably want to get some help with a couple of friends to help move furniture is to try and map it out, draw, draw a little floor plan of where you want things to go. It doesn't mean that they have to stay there, but at least you can have an idea where you want to try things out. If it doesn't work, you can always put it back. So I think now I really want to switch the living room with the dining room. We're going to put the dining room table where the couch was and we're going to put the couch where the dining room table is. Move something and when you come back, bring something back with you. So you save yourself some steps. Okay. I guess we can just leave it right here for now. Or we and could have rolled up the... Uh... Oh, we've got to roll up the carpet. Oh, okay. First, before you roll up the carpet, it should be vacuum because we're going to put it into storage. And you don't want to put anything in storage dirty because that's where, you know, mar moth larva and things start to happen. So, good point. We're going to have to vacuum the carpet and move this back first. Okay. So, I'm going to get the vacuum chair. Yeah and we'll move the table back here. Okay. So do you help with all of Joey's projects? Yes, this is not the first time I've brought stuff up and down. Most of this stuff's been up and down stairs a few times. That's why we love Joey. So always changing things. Spring cleaning is never fun, but it's such a good feeling after if you get everything really clean. So you might as well, when you're moving stuff, then you get a chance to go all in the little corners where you don't normally get to see. How many people does it take to roll the carpet? Keep on, keep on, keep on. What, are we okay? Keep on, keep on. Okay. With a quick mop. So the next thing to do is to prep your space. We're going to take down everything we want to take down off this wall to get it ready for the handyman to put up what goes on the wall. So just really carefully, we take everything down. We're going to put this in the front room. I think the wall needs a bit of a touch up. Over. Well, I'm gonna vacuum the carpet. Okay. This is this is not staying here. Okay, where's it going? It's going in the in the queen room. In the room. Hopefully. Okay. What do you mean hopefully? Well, because it doesn't fit. That's the only other piece that's going downstairs, but it's full of junk right now. Okay. Okay. So we'll try and bring it in the other room. What other room? Where? The yeah, queen the room? room. Are you gonna be okay? Is this the the queen room? <laughs> yeah. The, oh, well, now let's put the queen in there. Why don't we just push it back here for now, and then Andrew can help me bring it in. Okay. Are you gonna be okay? Well, let's try again. No. So I really have to clean what's in here too and declutter. So I'm going to have a couple of bags aside for a donation and for garbage. Watch oh, your finger, Jer. Should I close the door? Jer, I, mean, I, I can help you push it. Sorry, it's always with time. Remember I scratched the floor doing it myself last time? Yes, I do. Okay, this I can look by myself. No, oh. let me move the... See? I've been going to the gym. <laughs>
one down, Joe. I can kind of just see. I think it's too high. Let me just stand back. Is that going to fall? Yeah, the, what can go in front of it? Unless I put, I have two of these. Unless I put something like, you know, to, to give, it could give it something. Because I feel like it's too, it's too blank. Don't be afraid to try anything. You can always put it back. I tried a few things today, like putting a mirror over the fireplace. It didn't work. So you try something different. The main thing is that you have fun doing it. I like to put a candle in it or I could put maybe a plant that's like kind of hanging out of it. I'm going to move what else is on the window ledge to uh, balance it out. Sorry, the chimes are chiming. <laughs> I'm going to put the chimes where the birdcage was. Jerry, I know, but can you show me with your finger where you mean? Well, this would be, this would be uh, the hanging point right here, so the mirror comes to about there. And then it would be like about here? Lower. Lower. Because I'm just saying if I put a bench here, I don't want someone to hit their head against it. I think that was a problem on that side. It was a bit too low. Okay. So what do you want with that? Eight inches? Um, and we're going to center it on this wall. Because the issue is it's going to look screwy if you have it higher than the door, John. Yeah, no, I don't want higher than the door. Okay. Well, then, you know, even that's going to be... Let me hang this up for a sec. Well, maybe we can stay here. No, no, I don't like it here. Whoa! Okay. Um, Jared, can you hold the mirror for me? That way I can tell if it's right. A lot of people ask me what's the best way to organize your place or how to make things less cluttered. I think a really good way is to try to keep like items together. So right now we're going to redo this shelving unit. My idea is, since I collect a lot of Buddhas, to put all my Buddhas in here. So for now I'm going to take everything else out and I'm going to try that. It might not work, but you don't know until you try. So I'm going to empty it. Take out my favorite thing. My favorite. My other thing I like to collect is skulls, but I don't think I want to have skulls in my living room. Well, I, I secretly do, but I don't think other people that I live with do. Oh, and this is my other favorite book. You ever see this one, Jer? Yeah, it's my pirate book. But it's like really cool. What is it about? I don't know, pirates. <laughs> I just bought it because I like the cover. I don't know, she's never actually opened it. <laughs> it's in Trollgen's Troll book of the month club main selection. <laughs> but yeah, it's a wonderful book for people who love pirates. <laughs> It's no. called Train Spotting, but I like the cover. Oh yeah, that's a good book. Have you book. never seen Train Spotting? No. You've never seen the movie? Oh my god. No, should I rent it? Yeah, yeah. you should. Are there okay. So this might be like nice to put on top of um the coffee place. table in the living room. So I'm gonna keep this one out. It's a good wholesome family movie. Yeah. Actually this gave me an idea. This will be on top of the living room table. Whoa. Jerry, it's okay that like, this got bent a little bit. Straighten it out. But it won't, it's okay? Oh, yeah. 
Uh-oh. You don't have any exposed fire, is it? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look at it. It's still warm. Still warm. Here. We'll fix it. Let's see. Okay. See, that's why you should have a handyman helping you when you move. To hang things and to fix things that you broke. Oh, wow. It's brand new. Thanks, you. I think it's a good idea to take a moment and just reflect and see what you did. Have a look around and then just go, okay, and then keep going. Again, if you make a mistake or you don't like it, you can always put it back. But I promise you, you're going to have a fresh new place. It's going to be clean and ready for spring. And just enjoy it because you need to enjoy where you live. It's your place where you want to hang out, invite friends over, you want to feel comfortable. So you got to love your space. <laughs> The queen looks good there. The queen looks good over top of that. She looked content. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't mind. I'll put this in the. I'll put this in the basement. Okay. Yeah. I don't really. I don't mind. I'm not really afraid of the queen. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to make things work. I think it would detract from the queen. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's have the queen. Do you let her call you that? <laughs> <laughs> this is appropriate because there's cats in here and cats are clean. Yeah, I'm pregnant yeah. and then... No, it looks good. I think that looks good together. What else is going on here, Um, I'm trying to keep everything pretty minimal. So that's it. Kitty litter box, unfortunately. I have to pretend I'm sitting on this day bed and my head's going to bash against the picture from leaning against the wall. Well, are you going to be convulsing violently up against the wall? So, um, no, if I you, put You don't want to go right. No, you're right. Uh, so that's a good height. You don't want to go much higher. No, I know. You can't. So. Okay, so center is what? Yeah. Around here? Yeah. yeah. Is that around center? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Another good idea to save money when you're rearranging your place is to trade furniture with your friend. It's funny, but it really works. They could be bored or tired of that painting, bar stool, um, couch. Like, I traded this bar stool with a friend. Actually, that's not really true. My neighbor was throwing it out. And it was perfectly brand new, so I took it. But there's lots of ways to get furniture that you don't have to spend any money. Okay. I think I like it. Or a stick or something? Um, how about I get on the bed? Okay. I'll just take my boots off. Don't want any boots on the bed. Okay. Yeah, just need to pop the wire on the hook. Pop the wire on the hook. Okay, well, no, wrong hook. Oh, okay, got it. Only one hook up there. No, but there's like the top hook, which is not really a hook. Whoa. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's straight now because the train comes by and it gets crooked anyway. This is really good when you have three cats and a dog. See how we got some dust on the bed? It just picks it right up without making it dirty. It takes out deodorant from clothes. And I just took, um, I have a lot of pashminas and shawls. I just took a navy shawl from my closet and just put it on the foot of the bed just to tie in the navy in the painting. Plus the cat lies on it. Rather than lie on the navy cotton throw than on my white sheets. Well I have to say I don't love the shelf by the by the dining room table but in that case that's the only place it really can go so I'm just gonna try and live with it for a bit and see. I think everything else I'm pretty happy with. I just like that everything's kind of different. Like I love the different painting over the bed. I love the bar in the back room with the big mirror over it. it just opens up the room. I like the front room because I have all like um, my boyfriend's dad's stuff in there. So it's like one, you know, it's like, like a certain feel to it with the queen in there. Um, I just like it. It's, I feel like it's fresh. I feel like everything's getting clean. It's, we put some stuff out on the curb and I'm going to call some friends to get some other stuff. So we got rid of, you know, a few props and a few things lying around that really just were adding clutter and didn't really, didn't really need them. So it feels good to get rid of stuff.
Mm-hmm.